Uh, ashes. Let's, ashes. Talk, let's talk some actual cricket. Four yeah. zip. Four zip. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Grade Cricketer, uh, a good cricketing podcast. Uh, they had term, uh, coined the term 4.9 to zero. Mm. Um, <laughs> we're one, one wicket away yeah. from a five zip sweep. Um, yeah, we spoke about it just before. Uh, you know, the English press going mad. Uh, probably the worst touring side that we've ever seen over mm. here. A little bit hard done by old I don't, Joe I'm not sure Ruth. if it was the worst touring side, but if they had... Well, they didn't lose t- five talent. mil and they did... Yeah, they did yeah. two series. Ta- talent that. wise, I think yeah. they've got talent there, and they've got a few young guys they still need to work through into the squad that they tried late. But you know, the result that was probably the worst result they've ever had down here. Yeah. So, well, it, well, it wasn't. It's statistically yeah. they've been swept well, down here five yeah. zero. So it's, yeah. it's, it wasn't yeah. the worst result. It was one wicket away from yeah. being tied. Worst result. It's probably the result was probably just subsequent to they've played almost or at least twelve months away from home. Little to no break with within the COVID era, like they're tired, probably just tired. Yeah, yeah. Mm, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they need it. That outside of like, I, I was saying, I feel sorry for Joe Root boys. I feel oh, sorry yeah. for him. Like, yeah, he didn't have the series that he was probably after. He's still top scored for him, coming mm. off a record year. He needs some blokes to show a bit. We saw a bit out of Zach Crawley the last few games. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he looks like he, he might be a pretty handy test cricket. He's got a 250-odd against Pakistan, so obviously can do it. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, just outside of root in that top six, Stokes coming back, obviously, from that yeah. long and break. And was banged up for the last two test matches. Uh, Bairstow, Be- very good, obviously, in Sydney. Of course, missing Arch is probably a big one for yeah, someone well, yeah, not down right. here. Yeah, jo- Joffre, uh, you know, would it have changed the series? Four, four games? Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. And their bowlers aren't to blame. No, they, they bowled well, and... You know, next time they come down here, it's probably no Broad or Jimmy Anderson. You wouldn't think so, no. You wouldn't think no, so, no. no. So, But they've got some young guys there, like, like Wood looks really good. He's Wood, got, yeah, he Wood actually looks really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Especially down here where that extra bit of pace, uh, mm. you know, is, is needed and warranted. Yeah, yeah maybe when they Wilkes come... and Robinson probably needed a bit more. Like, it was good to see... Yeah, he didn't see it a heap play out better of I, I quite liked Robinson. If Robinson yeah. could find four or five Ks extra pace... Uh, he, you know, he, he he moves the ball around. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't think he did himself a disservice this tour. Yep. Colin Funky mm-hmm. Miller can bowl off spin too. Andrew Simons used to bowl a bit of meds, mm-hmm. <laughs> followed up by offies. Uh, don't mind that, but yeah, didn't didn't see probably Chris Wokes' best. Um, no. Mm. And what do you do? What do you do? You, and you, no, you, no legitimate spinner has probably hurt them a little bit too, and Jack especially H- the over rate. He's still well. on a hat trick. He's still waiting. <laughs> He's still waiting. True. Um, can't get one over games, apparently. Uh, no. It's only over innings. Yes. Anyways, yeah. let's look at the actual test itself. Uh, we were watching uh, the first session unfold mm-hmm. uh, last week. And look, we, we talk about, you know, is is this a horrible English slide? Yada, yada, yada. Don't forget, boys, it was a week ago tonight or mm. earlier this afternoon, a mm. week ago that we were mm-hmm. three for 20 on a green deck that looked yep. absolutely unplayable. Travis Head, he got, he got player of the series, boys. He probably won us two tests. Yep. He probably won us two tests because he comes out at three for 20 and just goes, oh, yeah, or well, I'll score a, uh, you know, a, a, ton stri- <laughs> a, a ton striking at 90 when we're in the absolute shit on something that looked absolutely unplayable. And in Brisbane, we're in it, not quite up shit creek, but in a similar circumstance as well when he came out and scored that uh, awesome 150. Yeah, needed someone uh, to steady at that point, and he came out and not only steadied, but put on decent runs too. Good to uh, see Cam Green amongst the runs. Yeah, support. showed a lot with the ball this series. Needed some runs. Uh, good to see him there with 70. Uh, have odd. you seen the picture of him with the other batsman? So big. <laughs> yes, so, she's so huge. Big. <laughs> the others like have the exact same average of height. Just mm. draw a line over, and then yeah, Cam yeah. Green's a foot taller than the rest of them. So he's uh, he's tall. He bowls wheels. He's 22. He's cute. Uh, yeah. He's going to play a lot of Test cricket, isn't he? It, it, He's like with the ball, he's ferocious. We saw him, you know, and we're glad that David Milan was okay in the next innings. He's a, a six that can bowl 145 and take your head off yep. and averages 50 in first class cricket down here. So but he's going to play a lot of test cricket, isn't he? Right. Yeah, I agree. So I was, I was going to ask you a question on Cam Green. Do you think he needs to go one or the other way in the order? Because I think no. his size is probably going to limit him from moving up as a more batsman. So do you think he should probably focus more on his bowling and potentially go in a four? Or do you think just stick with what he is as on um, both and not specialise, but specialise in being a all-rounder? I think he's a genuine six. I think he's a genuine six. He he's, doesn't have that elusive test ton, but we've seen what he can do uh, in first-class cricket down here. Uh, excels with the with the stick. Um, you know, it... it 
it's only a matter of time, I think, till he has has a test ton. And uh, yeah. and we, we speak about two different summers. Last year, you know, was out there scoring a few runs, not getting a big, you know, not much of a chance with the ball in hand. And this summer, absolutely killed it with the ball in hand. Had Joe yeah. Root's number. I think he got him oh, on yeah. three occasions. Time, yeah. Um, you know, chopping in uh, to to give relief. Uh, he was so good that Nathan Lyon yeah. didn't need to bowl on this green top down yeah. in Hobart. No, I, th- I don't think he needs to go up or down the order. I think he's a genuine six. And uh, yeah. he's 22, boys. Mm. You know, like, you, you think of test cricketers. You think of, say, Mike Hussey debuted at 31. You, you think of this this game where you often develop quite, you know, quite late. Like, Your late like, 20s is kind of when you want to get like the fo- chance. It's, to not like, it's not like soccer. It's not like Aussie rules football where yeah. you can be 18, 19 and out there running around, yeah. you know, with the best of them. Shout to Sam Walsh. Uh, doing good yeah. things for for Carlton, you know. Uh, as a teenager, uh, might have just turned twenty actually. Um, but it, it, cricket, it's one of those games where you tend to develop a little bit later. This well, one, it's it's this technique. Bloke's, this bloke's twenty two, and most of your technique you get from long repetition. So yeah, yeah. it makes more sense. So I, I, and I, I personally always lean to more of the bring the young talent in and try and build them for a long term, so they kind of mould them in the way you want. Mm. Which has always been my push of like, don't ever push put Miss March back in there because he he's not as like yes he's great on the white ball with the batting, but his bowling's just not the same sort of level as Cam Green. No. So I think Cam Green long term is going to offer you more and more and more places. So like in more of uh, broader spectrum of what he can actually do in your team. So, yeah. Mm. yeah, I think just leave him in there and just even if he's struggling, just let him toil away and learn because he'll improve. Send him to the South Continent. Um, so, he, you know, he might not make any runs or take any wickets, but who cares? He learned. In a yep. couple of years, he would have learned how to play in those conditions and then, you know, you've got you know, a limited six is going to be there for 15 um Let's say, let's say 15 years. I want to put 20. Yeah, <laughs> but hey, fucking 280 <laughs> tests. If he's, exactly. If he's he could long. be one of the longest serving Australian cricketers at that point. It's interesting because we do have nine test matches coming up uh, in, in Asia. Uh, will his role be so pronounced over there or will he need to take a back seat over there? But no. yeah. I, hope, I honestly think because I don't think he's done a tour over there yet. No, no, no. So I wouldn't surprise me if he struggles mightily. We'll see what but happens. I think it's worth it's a, a, a worthful lesson to do that because what you gain long term is that potentially he learns how to play on those on those pitches. I think he he will need to step up a little bit more probably with the bat over there. Correct. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome to see what he can do. Uh, an interesting series down here that did suit the bowlers. We aren't so used to seeing uh, you know down here normally roads, uh, mm-hmm. plenty mm-hmm. of runs. Uh, England didn't make over 300. I think we made 400 twice in in the series. Uh, We saw Steve Smith uh, struggle a little bit. Um, But the bowlers, Scott Boland, he was was the sixth in line, right? So Hazelwood (laughs) goes down with a side strain. We bring in Jai Richardson and Michael Nisa. For Cummins, yep. Yep, ne- uh, Cummins. Yeah, has the has the COVID close the contact. Flu. Yep, uh, and then Nisa and Richardson. Richardson play, uh, plays well. Has a five for. They sit out. They bring in Scott Boland. Horses for courses. Uh, MCG people are questioning it. Oh, you know, has has he done his mm. done his time? Is he <laughs> does he de- deserve to be there? Uh, yeah, guess what? He has. He took eighteen wickets in the series at an average yep. of nine point five. Uh, the lowest average ever for someone to take double digit uh, test. Wickets and uh, and Paddy Cummins had himself a pretty uh, well. All no, Paddy, the, Paddy all, is all Paddy's going Paddy and Stark. Well, twenty three <laughs> wickets, I think, across his four. Yeah, at, tests. A, at about eighteen, yeah. and Stark uh, had had poles at about twenty five and pretty mm. handy with the bat. Nathan Lyon, as well, didn't didn't even need a bowl <laughs> in Hobart, and, no. and he still had I think sixteen at about twenty three. So. Yeah. A really good series for the bowlers. So, question for you. It came from Manesh. Uh, what do we do with Scotty Bolan and Hazelwood? Hazelwood has to come back in, I think. I think. You can't. Scott Bolan stays in this squad now. Has to. Yes. Has, yeah. has to. So, the but nine tests, like, the, he'll be in the. Can you bring up Josh Hazelwood, please? ICC rankings. I, I assume they, I'm, I'm assume pretty sure he's top six across all three mm-hmm. formats. It might be. Two, four, six, but mm-hmm. you, you're not. You can't drop Josh Hazelwood. You would, you would, you would think they want to, um, you know, show a little bit of loyalty. He's been done, done a job from. He need, he needs to go. He needs to go overseas. Yeah. Be in that touring mm-hmm. squad, and if someone, or, or if they want to rotate, you know, little cricket Australia rotation policy, mm-hmm. uh, yada yada. Uh, yeah, but 
uh, and this is I like obviously you know the Scott Boland <laughs> memes, all the Scott Boland. Yeah, I love that. The Scott Bill, Scott Boland. You know he the, makes the, the hair. He makes the hair <laughs> stick up on the back of your arm. You know, or you want your missus to whisper in your ear. Is Scott Boland? You know, men go to sleep, and who are they thinking about? No. They're not thinking about <laughs> some sexy chick. Don't worry about it. They're thinking Think about, about Scott, Scott Boland. Boland. All the memes that come out of it, awesome. He needs to go away in that in those touring squads. Yeah. But Hazelwood has to come has to come back in, and mm. uh, you know, hate to give Warney a platform. He was on Mitch Stark's case before this. You know, oh, you know, there's maybe more consistent guys out mm. there, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe in those flatter decks over there. In um in the subcontinent, maybe you want someone who's a bit more line of length, but True. but Stark but Starkey was very impressive with the ball this series. Oh. Yeah, and Starkey adds a different element that none of the other ones can yeah, add he, as well. Yeah, so he can fucking kill you. Yeah, he's like, a firebrand. He's <laughs> like, yeah, like 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 Scotty Boland is going to bowl line length, edge ball, McGrath esque. Yes, as per Hazelwood, uh, you know, just put it on on the car keys on the car keys. Yep. fifth stump, sneaky up, sneaky up. See you later. Terrorize a whole nation. Um. But yeah, I think you need that Stark, you yeah, know, yeah. in 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 um in your in your uh, in your bowling lineup. Monks, did you did you get uh, Josh Hazelwood? Please, I'm pretty sure he's yes. top six. Is he across all formats? Yeah, so top two in ODIs, so, so he's, second, he's second Sorry, behind yeah. Trent Bolt. Um, in T twenties, he is sixth ranked, mm-hmm. and then in tests, he is eighth ranked. Oh, top eight, top eight. Miss Goosey, yep. Miss Goosey. And that may have changed uh, with him having that side strain. We've got James Anderson, two ICC points ahead, and Tim Southey, uh, seven points ahead there. So, Well, I think for the, the nine tests, they're going to need to rotate some of the bowlers over yep. there. Plus, they're probably going to take, what, a squad of anywhere from 15 to 20, I'd say, uh, since it is a long, long tour across many places. And they're going to... And it may not be the same yeah. squad for each. No. For yeah, each agree, one there. Agree. But yeah, so, Scotty Bowen, I uh, hope your passport's uh, up to date because you need to be on the plane. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's what I, I definitely said we do it. And, you know, the, the battles, um, the horses for courses may be a little bit there and pick between Josh and, and Scott because um, they are that very similar Mitch. type of bowler. Yeah. yeah. And you, maybe occasionally Mitch, depending on what sort of road they're playing on. If it's there's no, you know, variable kind of bounce or, or, or potential use of the seam or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just, just stick with line. I'm just hoping to see a bit more Test cricket for us Australians. Uh, yeah. Really starved of it in the two in series the, in two in, years. Yeah, in 2021, yeah. Uh, we saw the ICC uh, best eleven come out from 2021. Manus Labuschagne, the only Australian to make it. We did play six Tests in 2021 compared to 14 ish for England and India. Yep. Um, so yeah, just looking hopefully forward to seeing a lot of test cricket and and the return to pakistan uh that you know the the people of pakistan they're missing test cricket yeah, yeah well um, yeah. i think there was hopefully a, all of that goes ahead and uh and goes to plan yeah well we'll get into new zealand and having issues getting into there but it looks like there was another bomb blast in pakistan so that doesn't uh, doesn't bode well no, no it doesn't bode well but i, I suppose what do you do, do cricket you, australia is not real keen on sending any of these guys anywhere at the moment <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be hard to see where they go i, I just want to Hopefully they can get some subcontinent test cricket in at least. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Um, I'm not too worried so much about the white ball format, but it's yeah, it's we still the more cricket is better than uh, than no cricket. Indeed, indeed. Definitely. Let's just wrap up the end of Hobart. Yep. Um, so 303 we made uh, off the back of that great Travis Head. Ton. Uh, England skittled for 188. Uh, so, so a little bit of the tail wagging there. Sam Billings on debut. What do we think, boys? Do you think they'll stick with him going forward? Just Butler, a very accomplished white ball cricketer, but didn't have the best series down here. What do you think they do? They're, they've got a lot of options, uh, mm. you know, for someone to go behind the gloves. They could they could not play mm. Billings or Butler and have Bairstow keep. Uh, Ollie Pope can keep. Yep. What do they do going forward? Uh, depends on what you want to do long term, maybe. Billings, Sam, Billings, Billings is, is the young. Youngest. Pope is young. Bairstow's getting on. Butler's getting on. on. Yeah, and Butler's kind of specialised in one format and hasn't really transitioned uh, or translated uh, enough into, into the red, into yeah. the red ball. So and, and no, it's question. His wipe like when sometimes when you watch Josh Butler play T Twenty quick cricket, you're like, yeah. you are one of the cleanest strikers of the ball in the world. Mm-hmm. You do <laughs> wonder why it's not translating, I suppose, into the red ball format. Mental. 
It's probably uh, uh, yeah, 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 possibly. It, it's a different, you know, it's a different style. Like we do, it's a different game, different style. Yeah, so yeah. It's, we like to say on the SQ, sometimes it's different sport. Just yes, about. Yeah, it's, it's a different. It's just about different sport. So yeah, maybe Sam Billings. Like yes, maybe again another guy that might struggle for a year or two, but you're trying to retool um, this team for you know the next. Ash has maybe done under in a couple of years, and you know it's three, it's a three or four years away is what you're trying to focus on. Get your county cricket system pumping, getting the guys out. Um, let's let's get into let's it. go. Uh, let's not go so far ahead. The next Ashes in England two years away. Mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, pretty embarrassing showing for the Poms. How do we see them going on their home turf coming up in the next Ashes? You'd imagine Broad and Anderson. Probably won't be there. Mm, broad, maybe, because he'd be 36. So I th- I think that's possible. I don't think Jimmy, what, he'd be 30. He's 40, I think. Is he be 40? He's 38 he's, now, so he'd be 40, yeah. So I think he's four, I'm pretty sure he's nearly 40 now. Check <laughs> yeah. that out. No, Jimmy, Jimmy Anderson, Anderson definitely not. Broad, maybe, yep. at a pinch. But you'd hopefully want Archer going, you know, yeah, firing that, yeah, then and, at the and, point. And you want Broad to... And we need a healthy Archer. We've, yeah. we've seen what he can do. Yeah. With Wood, Wood works in... He's 39. He's, he's 40 in July. He'd be 40. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think so. Tell you what, I uh, I bowl about 95 k's per <laughs> hour and I don't try to bowl spin <laughs> and my body feels like it's about 59. So, congratulations <laughs> to Jimmy Anderson. For hey, well, 39 years sub- old. Sublime yeah. athlete. He's out to 6 a.m. with Nathan. <laughs> <Ryan>. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, so partying he, with the guy. Partying he, with he, the guy. He, 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 he can, can do, do it. The most wickets out of any <laughs> fast bowler of all time. Obviously, uh, an absolute weapon under the English conditions. Never really... Mm. Really dominated down under, but um, you know, one of the most accomplished fast bowlers of all time, and can yeah. and can have a beer with the boys as he's in the morning. <laughs> so that definitely bodes well in our books. Yeah, so definitely. If that was, so my point being, I think you're probably trying to rig tool for that. You probably still have Joe Root as captain that by that point. Yeah. Um, yep. But what do we think about all this Joe Root poor captain? Yada yada. We touched on it last yeah, week. Yeah. It's, it, it's got, noise, isn't it? You've got another yes. uh, no other who options. Else? Who yeah. else? There's no other options. I think you're trying to build, like, who's that guy? Is it going to be um, – is it Oli Pope? No. Yeah, Oli Pope. Is it Oli yeah. Pope? Like, he, he's kind of the, the anointed one yeah. going forward, I guess. He's 23 mm. years old. They, I think he captained England uh, at a under-19s level. Um, but, yeah, who else? Who else outside of Jay Root? Yeah. So yeah. You've currently no one. So that's the thing. You're trying to retool, build that, guys. Maybe with the next Ashes is too soon for that point. Yeah, well, I'm thinking like three well, years. You'd want to do it quickly, though. Well, Ollie, Ollie Pope's 26 by that point. I think yeah. that's that, you know, later 20s is oh, where of, where the English yeah, team no. yeah. will kind of come together and hopefully be a, a better unit than for, they are. For now. the foreseeable future, it has to be Root. Yes, it, yes. It has, it has to be. And any of this, you know, he's responsible for their capitulation down here. Uh, no, he's <laughs> coming off one of the best calendar years Ever. Yeah. And, and he's got us all back, bro. Like, he's yeah, been carrying from Canem, them. From Canem. Yeah. yeah. Could they have made a few, you know, could he have made a few better uh, captaincy decisions? Sure. Oh, so, okay. so, could it, so, you know, anyone can be better. He's, yeah. he's the man for the job going forward. 100%. What do they say the difference between uh, an egg and a root is? What? You can beat an egg, but you can't beat a root. <laughs> he, he's the man going forward, boys. He's the man going forward. Uh, terrible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Before you do Again, to wrap up Hobart, to wrap yeah, up wrap Hobart. Up. Yeah, finish up Hobart. Uh, so so we went we went back out, and England shown a little bit of fight, actually. The, the day two yeah. probably belonged to, to England, maybe even most of day three. Mm. This is a three-day test. This is what way, makes me it? feel... Three-day test. Yeah. Yep. yeah, this is what makes me feel the next series in England will bode a lot better than how they did here in Australia. Of course, of course. But, um, we, we, but we spoke about it last week. Play to the conditions. We, when we <laughs> yeah. go over there... It's it's competitive, you know. We it was a split series last time. We retained the Ashes two, two and two. Ben Stokes mm. essentially, uh, you know, saved him in, in Headingley. Uh, the the series before, you know, we're competitive. We go over there, but when we lose, we lose three one, or we lose, you know, it, it's close. It's close. Mm. Uh, when they come down here and they get absolutely pasted, you think, geez, what's going on? Like it's mm. it kind of. Maybe for the neutral viewer, it's, it's maybe boring. It's so one-sided that it, that it loses its its allure. Yeah. Well, you want competitive cricket, so that's that's what we tune in. That's what we tune in to watch. Mm. So yeah, you know, a three-day we we 
he gave India and England shit for a three day test over there. So to pull yeah. one out of ourselves, and, we, and they they did their best to to uh, to make a deck that was most conducive to English uh, <laughs> English skill in in a nice green top. It was cool. It was overcast the whole time. Yeah. We, we speak about Hobart being, uh, you know, Newcastle down under, if you will, Newcastle upon mm-hmm. Hobart. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Not that they played Test cricket in Newcastle. But I don't know where that uh, you, you analogy see, came from. You could still see that our top order still struggled in those conditions. Yeah, so. well, well, we spoke about Smith. Uh, Warner had a great start to the series, got a pair in this one. Uh, I think he made three and not much in yep. in uh, in Sydney. Um, so, yeah, we, we saw it was tough going out there. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, again, that probably uh, – is. It, it speaks volumes to how good Travis Head's innings was, um, you know, to essentially Agreed. win this test match. Uh, yeah. So – the the Poms they went out there and they start. I think that was none for sixty eight. Were they not with Zach Crawley yep. and Rory Burns? Tell you what, and Rory, scoring well is so oh, like. Crawley. And we, we we did just allude to it. Crawley looks pretty good. He looks yep. pretty good. I think he he needs to play a fair bit more Test cricket. He's a big dude for is he? Batsman, like though, so. with, uh, with some skill. Um, <laughs> we saw Rory Burns. He'd had the you know the top knot, the yep. kind of ponytail. He was rocking that. And he goes, yeah. nah, fuck it, last test, hair down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, were, they were saying he looked like John Bon Jovi on, uh, on ABC Grandstand here. Oh, we're halfway there. He was halfway to, to 50. Uh, so well done, <laughs> Rory Burns. Uh, very, quite unlucky. Tried to late leave yeah. and just got his bottom yeah. edge uh, off, off Cam Green. Cam Green, the chopped on king. He got a few uh, in, in Hobart. Uh, and then... How else can you describe this? Capitulation, collapse, um, wanting to yeah. go home, wanting to go to the pub. Um, you know, don't have to play two days of cricket. Can classic, you- classic in um, England. So they, you know, they yeah, capitulated. Was, I tell you, I, I, and I've got it there, boys. At none for sixty-eight, chasing two, what was two hundred and seventy odd? Were we yeah. worried? I was. I, I was fucking. Well, yeah. I texted. I texted. Shout out to Andrew Burns, <laughs> friend of the Esky. He said, "It's England. Don't worry. Nothing to be worried about." I was that, fucking shit myself. That, 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 that was, was, that was my thoughts. That was my thoughts. It's, yeah. it's England. It's like still no, a long way to go. They got to make another two hundred. It's doable. Like you start thinking, it's doable. Yeah, it was, it, they've it got doable. three days worth of cricket. They could, well, they it wasn't going to be a draw forward. at that point, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It so, two days in a session, but yeah, yeah. round up yeah. three. No worries. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it was really hammered in the English press. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 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 kind of rolling over the the waving of the white flag. Uh, you know, when, when we got into that kind of middle order, they were talking a lot about Sam Billings. You know, just chipping one to mid on. Yeah, uh, yeah. just Wood nothing. Wood and and Robinson just just get surrendering, giving up their wicket. Mm, uh, but yeah. but also, what do you do in that circumstance? You're down here. You've been away from your family for so long. You're facing. You're in Hobart, like <laughs> you're facing. Hey, nothing wrong with Hobart. <laughs> Shout out to them with their first Ashes test. What What else? Is, what are you going to go out and bat for two days and, and save save the game? You may as well go out swinging. Uh, true, but then also you potentially could win a test match. So you don't want to be throwing the bat away and giving your wicket away when you when you're eight down and you're tail ender and you're facing oh, yeah. boy Cummins and Scott yeah, Boland. By, uh, by that point, you're just like fuck it. Just yeah, if you yeah. you. You know, broad, it did, it broad did look a little rolls. bit of like a rollover. Yeah, they were just like, yeah, let's, we're, we're done. We're not we're not scoring 200 runs between us. So. And, and full disclosure, this is coming from a man who plays Sunday social cricket and our team got dismissed for 64 last yes. time we played. That's the team, <laughs> uh, not the opening punish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, that's, that's the Ashes, boys. We spoke about the celebrations. The boys had a bit of fun. Yep. Don't mind it. Don't nah, mind just, it. Uh, what? It, there was a noise complaint. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Out of all yeah. the shit that goes in, on in the world in 2022, in any year, really. In yeah. fact, it's arguably better. It's arguably better. They weren't out there. They did. They weren't Genghis Khaning going out and <laughs> raping and pillaging, were they? <laughs> <laughs> were they? <laughs> they were having a few uh, beers Reno, after winning Genghis. the Ashes. Uh, yeah. Another great world leader. Mm, yes. Debate. Debate. <laughs> <laughs>